we've reached our goal of $50,000, so thank you so much, Rippin. You guys are awesome. I didn't know, I wasn't sure we could do it in 10 days, but even in these hard times, everybody pulled together from $25 donations all the way up to $10,000. Everybody just pitched in and made it happen. So thank you so much. And now we have $100,000 more than we did 10 days ago. It's totally amazing. So that was our first goal. And we are going to be really ready on August 31st as much as we can for that first home game with a beautiful scoreboard and a concrete sidewalk for you to walk on. It's going to be phenomenal. And you'll be so glad you invested in it. So, now we're getting ready for another exciting phase where we just put the all-weather surfacing in the D's. Now, that may not sound like a big deal, but if you were to go in that stadium, and we will have pictures for you this week, that you will see how it will complete the oval and have some nice track events and that are safe for our athletes to compete on. Unfortunately, that does cost $87,000 more, so that's what we'll have to raise before December in order to have that installed in time, and I know our town can do this. So, get ready and to help spread the word once again. So Ripon, thank you once again for your financial support and of course we couldn't do it without our construction crew that's making this possible at cost or at free for labor and that would be my husband Vince and Keith Haynes. They've been putting in phenomenal hours, sunrise to sunset and more. Plus my family, Luke, TJ, and Emily Hobbs have also invested a lot of their time. Sam Vanderpool, Scotty Williams has been amazing, a real champ out there, and Jeff Hardenbrook as well. So we have a lot of people to thank, and it wouldn't be possible without them and you, and I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. You're such an encouragement to keep going and doing well for Ripon. This is a good thing. In order to prepare for our first home game on August 31st on Stouffer Field, we are starting our voting on this Wednesday for KCR, KCRA Channel 3, and we hope that Channel 3 will come and see what all that you've done for our community and to film our kids playing on their brand new field. That would be awesome if you would take a moment to vote for them starting this Wednesday until next Wednesday. And I look forward to seeing you on our opening night, August 31st. We'll have a small ceremony between games to present the school and the community, your new field and scoreboard and, and everything else that, uh, that we've worked on this over the past five years. Thank you.